relationship that this country has experienced. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in an example. Um, I'm not going to talk about too much of it yet because okay. I'm really not ready. All right. Because tonight I'm going to go home. I'm going to research it. Uh, do do a little bit of research. I'm going to have the uh, video portion picked out and all that. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it'll, it'll I'll, I have a couple hours of preparation tonight. Go- Google. Yes. Google executive branch dash Cheney dash not. <laughs> What comes up when you do that? I don't know, but I'm sure it'll be very interesting. Yeah, well. See, are you aware that... uh, Yes, he's claimed to sometimes be a member of the executive branch and sometimes not, Mm -hmm. depending on who wants to subpoena him. Like, who wants to depend on who wants to know? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the degree to... The degree to which I find social f- the social fabric being unwound in this country by the conservatives who claim to have so much concern for social fabric is truly phenomenal. Mm-hmm. But I think as in sort of unpredicted response to this, I think there's a whole generation of young people that are growing up that are even more cynical about politics and about government and about society in general than were 10 years ago. With this, that's, a, that's a wonderful sounding microphone. Yes. It is. And I, I'm seeing that with people I'm talking to, and I believe that that's going to just become more of a phenomenon. And I think regardless of what they were trying to do, I think that's the result that they're going to get with the leadership that we have now. And I, I've tried explaining this. I've tried explaining this to some people who I know, like my family members of mine, mm-hmm. in conversations with conservatives, and very often they just don't get it. A noted mad scientist from the area, John 16, called me this morning. He just heard the news, and he said he just had to call me and tell me that a, uh, a woman who was suing uh, Dick Cheney and some others in um, in the name, I believe, of her dead husband, uh-huh. after the fact and what have you. Uh, How did her husband die? I, d- I didn't purposes. get the details. Okay, but this is what he wanted to share with me was that that uh, apparently Cheney's uh, lawyer had walked in and just stated that uh, uh, Dick Cheney was immune to prosecution, and and so and that's it. That's it. Uh, so he's he's just immune to prosecution. That, that she can't sue him. She can't uh-huh. do this because he's... So it says her lawyer, and what does the judge think about this? Well, I, he, didn't te- the, okay. he didn't tell me that. He was just, he just wanted to, to share with me what a scam things are. Oh, that, completely, that, completely. We have, we have a new generation of religious fanatics that want to take a spoiled rich fool and make him king. It's absolutely disgusting. Okay, I'm going to turn the phantom power off now okay. so that we can replace this mic, okay. with, which isn't a bad mic, with... With um, with another. Okie dokie. Of your choice there, we've already got what a couple more there. We have it tried out. And no uh, ooh, it already seems to have died down. It doesn't take long. I, I still have power, you see. Yeah, yeah, funny that. But this is uh, give this one another minute. Mm-hmm. And here's. Oh, Jonathan. oh yeah, give it plenty of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's here's Jonathan. I think he's getting ready to. Crunchy, creamy, crunchy. <laughs> Have you been listening to us or not? No, I've been just trying to run around trying to get everything ready. Mm-hmm. Okay. Those, I like those. So, yeah. I'm going to be checking those out a lot. Have you yeah. listened to those on the headphones? Mm-hmm. I, I've been ranting okay, about you them. You see where I'm talking about putting those on a boom, mm-hmm. and that's, you know, instead that's of a perfect. shotgun. Right. So I hope you're, I probably caught, kept you from getting your other shotgun by getting these. She's going, uh-huh, it's my fault. You've that's got okay, them. we're getting another shotgun are, anyway. Are you, are you, are you happy with these? And, he likes okay, them. Yeah, I'm. I'm using those. I'm using those suckers for the interview tomorrow from Mount oh. Dungeon. Definitely. Oh, you think? Okay. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, provide. We, we will wow. see. In other words, like it may not be they're checked not, in the system yeah, and available. Yet, so. Oh. I think we need oh. to wait on that one. I can't make exceptions because we can't lose them. Oh. Well, certainly not going to lose this because okay I don't lose stuff. Yeah. But yeah. if. Uh, yeah. You need to go back to current in the boxes. All nine of them. Yes. Yes, everything will go back exactly, and uh, I'm deliberately keeping it all together, making sure nothing floats away. So everything is, all of them are in here right now. Well, we're we're introducing everybody to our new microphones. Yes. Say hello to the, hey, new microphones. Yes. (laughs) 
All right. Yeah, mm-hmm. You think the Phantom Power is down yet? Yeah, I, yeah, mm-hmm. I'd say so. All right, pick one out and put it on that one. No, leave that one hooked up. Because right. it, you know, swapped okay. it. This you know. one out, mm-hmm. and what one should we do next then? You, you're, to your of your choice of, of right. the. There's only a couple we haven't tried now, aren't there? Yes. Ah, <sighs> let me see the headphones while you do it. Hook, hook us one up. Hook us one up. You're going for the one I, I call the football microphone. Looks kind of like a football, doesn't it? I guess is that is that a bad description of it? Or an egg? I I'd go more with the egg. More egg, like some yeah. somewhat eggish. Okay, and here comes the full blown Phantom Power, and and is it in? Okay, go ahead and talk to us. See what happens. Anything going on? I'm talking in this. It's set in cardioid mode right now. So here I go. You okay? You look very wide-eyed. You're a little loud. Okay. I'll pull it back from here. Oh, I know why. Let me, let me see if I can turn it down. It's okay. Yeah, it's a little loud. I've turned it down. There. And it, oh yeah, yeah. There we go. It's a little still loud. a little loud. Uh, no, it's not bad. It's not bad. At least for what at the levels that I'm getting used to right here. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna flip the switch. I'm gonna put it into Omni. How's that sound? It, there is a pop when you do it. There is a pop, but and the, and the low end should be a little attenuated. Yeah. And I'm here. But you can hear me just as well over here. Yes. Uh, this one not included. Let's see. I'll pull. I'll pull I'll pull our other mics out right now. Now we're just on our, we're just on just the test. Just this one. Okay, uh-huh. Just well, this one. Okay, just that one. There we go. We're just oh, so Let's that do one. that. Yeah, let's try that. Just okay. this one. And I'm hearing it through the headphones, so. wah ba ba loo ba ba la bam boom Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it sounds good. It's certainly not the same as if you had one that was a dedicated vocal mic for one person up close. Well, you That's much that. better quality there, but. Uh, it's coming through, it's and loud. yeah, you could you could do you could do a show of a group of people with just this mic. Uh-huh. So it's very nice, okay. very nice. Right. Uh, but, it, but I think it also will make an excellent announcer's mic. Yes. Should I? Should I? Oh, I don't think we're getting no. anything right now. Well, I turned it down a little bit. Which one? Oh, okay. Let's turn it down. But but uh, what what we also have on it is pads. So uh, let's just put on the Tindy pad. Okay. Is there a big pop or not? There was a pop. Okay. Now, n- now talking it. Okay. You may need now to get closer. I'm talking. And uh, it makes a big difference when you get closer. Put it on the cardioid. Is that cardioid? And now it's on cardioid. And you can definitely tell the difference now. Now it sounds like a radio voice type of thing going on. Oh, you like that? You like that? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's good. It's good. I think I'm still going to want to use this one, which I may not get the opportunity to use tomorrow after all, uh, unfortunately. Oh, the next time. The next time, yes. I tried the 20 dB pad. Just click, click. And here we go. And when I was messing around with this earlier in the control room, when I clicked over to 20 dB, it felt almost like everything disappeared. Or more to the point, I have to get up this close to make it make it functional. I um, clicked all the way over to 20, and having to get up this close. And what is that like with the Omni? So. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's that's kicking. That's really kicking. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, I'm going to click it back over to Omni again. Slight pop. Here we There we go. And how are we picking things up in terms of... Well, no, uh, not the 20 dB pad. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, it's on 20 dB, but Omni. Shall I click it back to just zero? Yeah. There we go. How's that? Yeah, oh yeah, that that's picks up good. Yeah, picks up good. You wanna? Yeah. You wanna, sh- you wanna show me? Okay. Okay. It's here we are. Okay. We're just having a little omnidirectional conversation, it, just you and me. Put it on a cardioid and a, and a twenty. Cardioid twenty. Twenty cardioid cardioid so twenty. Good. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Uh huh. Warm and creamy in a cuddly kind of way, just like hot chocolate and dirty sex acts all in one. Really? Ah, I don't know. I'm just saying that. I'm trying to f- say something kind of zany. Okay. Uh, we're 
killed Phantom Power. Okay. There's a oh wait. to this one yeah as opposed to this one as opposed to this one mm -hmm. Go ahead. and then there's this one mm -hmm. and then there's this one right here mm -hmm. and did you do that already I did that already but I'll, I'll listen to it again it was on a different soundboard in a different room and everything and there is less background noise in this room than doing it in the control room so I'll go ahead and I'll try it again here and I'll try this one here. And I'll try this one. And here I am speaking into this one. And here I am speaking into this one. Talking, you need to get really close for this. And for this one, here, like this. And what happens if I put it to, z put this one to, whoa. Put it to 10 instead of 20. Okay. Yeah, putting it at zero was very much a uh, little bit of overload. But Okie dokie. Now I'm trying this one again. Now I'm trying this one again. Now I'm trying this one. Now I'm trying this one. Yeah. Yeah. And this one once again. Uh, and then this one. And then this one. And we must really be boring the tears out of somebody. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what they said. That's it. You know, this is, you Are know, we this exciting is you? Huh? Oh, we have, we're going to have an episode coming up soon where we're going to watch paint dry. Yes, I can't wait. Yes, we're going to watch paint dry. Chroma key paint, no less, yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when is that When is that due to happen I, I, anyway? I, I, we don't have precise dates. Okay. Yeah, uh, as I said once again, I've, I've done some painting and I have paint brushes, so let me know. I'd be more than happy to come in and we've help. Got one, we've got one more. Uh, which is your favorite between these? So stick with the That's favorite. hard to say. And Let's see. I'm going to have to pick a favorite. And I'm going to have to pick a favorite. I'm going to, um, you know what, I'm going to go with this one. This one does sound pretty good, too. I'm going to put it back to 20. This one sounds pretty good, too. But I think I'm just going to stick with this one. Uh, I like the sound. Plus, it fits just fine in this in the stand. So we'll do that. Kill the Phantom Power, so let's just let it be for a little bit. And we have one power. Uh, I know that you have an extraordinary fondness for these microphones, and it does sound really good. Uh, I have to say, this does also sound really good, and I know you're fond of these to modify. Uh, part of the reasoning for me picking the one that, I, picking this one to use next time I get the opportunity to use it as vocal mic, as opposed to this one, is just the stand factor. That this one I can just put on a table and be like this, and since there isn't the stand for this right now, I would obviously have to hold it and go like this, and you know, obviously when I'm doing other things, that just doesn't work. But um, there is also an element of temptation to next time I have a sit-down interview where I just hold a microphone just to have this sucker. So you could probably slide it into a mic stand. 
You could probably pull that bearing or out of it. Don't unplug it. Hmm? If you don't unplug it, yeah. you could probably pull that bearing or out of that little stand and make it stand and that see if it does. Are you talking about this one or? Hmm? Let me give this a try. Um, you're talking about putting the. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to unplug it. I'm not. I, I know. I know. But using this part to support. Well, that was something that I. I was a little nervous about the prospect, of having it supported by the cable. Well. Sometimes these. Uh, I use the little side. There you go. Just for for an example, I don't know if that'll work or not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that sucker's just going to need a dedicated stand, because it it's workable. But the way I like to do things, that would just be too floppy. I'd be too nervous about it flopping over or doing something like that and I'd rather just have something that I know is locked down and predictable oh I, I know I know I know but I, I, I yeah 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 but I'd rather have just have something locked down and predictable without like uh, jury rig flare oh you know what what okay we have something else coming it would seem in the meantime, I will put the football egg back in its case. Of course, being very careful. All right. I'll kill the phantom power. Okie dokie. Okay. And this definitely has an element of uh, elegance about it. The whole more complicated mic stand and all that there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just purely from a visual perspective. From the whole sensation of just sitting in front of it. But I'm now speaking into this one. And then I'm speaking into this one. And, and I'll listen to you. Yeah. As will our hope. As will our home, I'm turned way down here. As, As will, will our home viewers. Yes, listen. everybody at the home audience can experience the sensation of listening to us talk about talking into microphones. And it's not the most riveting episode, I suppose. Uh, no heated political debate or anything like that, but that's okay. That's okay. I feel like I'm learning something. Uh, hopefully our home, home viewers are learning something, and... Uh, I don't know if you're learning anything because this is all old ground for you, but, you know. Oh, it's, it's always it's always fun to A, B, a microphone. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
doing this and doing this. And is this endless fun? Is this hours of entertainment right here? Fun for the whole family? Bring the kids? All of that there? Okay. And I'm talking in this one. And this one. Yeah, fun for the whole family. All sorts of fun. And um, yes, yes. I just I have this image of somebody boring the hell out of a friend of theirs by just talking endlessly mm. and spending hours just talking and talking and uh, what's the matter? Well, as long as there's something moving. Okay. Yeah. Are moving. you moving? I'm keep moving, moving a little keep bit. Moving. Moving. Everybody keep moving. Bobbing moving. our heads moving. about. Bobbing moving. our heads and, and making what? noises. Yes. Hello. Hello. And you know, the uh, clock that. Uh, that Randini clock mm-hmm. yes yes which replaced the clock that I brought in I will say that's much fancier but the, the the little the crappy clock I brought in was easier to read I will have to say especially when with the that, light in your yeah, eyes yeah with yeah. the light in your eyes because we're trying to read black on gray here as opposed to a time although the clock that I had did make a background sound so I can see the appeal for that if you're trying to go for audio quality because there's no t- in the background, which I suppose if, if you're worried about audio quality would definitely be an issue. And uh and who what do we have going on? Is this some more shape static? I don't know. Okay. What does it sound like? See you're um, hearing it not me. I can only guess. The white plastic clip on guard of the barber's electric raised. There are four thicknesses of guard, with number one giving the shortest crop and number four the longest. And what do we have? Ten minutes left? It says 5.50. Something in that neighborhood, huh? Oh, let okay, me have okay. the other good mic. You, let me have one good mic, and you can have one good mic. There we go. All right. And one good mic to another good mic. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, everything's a lot more like it is now than it ever has been. We now have purple drawing on on the, on the your uh, stress release on your mm-hmm. mic cable to identify. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just went over the uh, I went over the text with the nearest thing at hand that worked which was a purple sharpie which was fine and yes and it's a good way to identify what's my XLR as opposed to all the others right yes indeed indeed and oh you know what I haven't done this yet in the time that I've been here so I have to do it now right. Mount Dungeon Thursdays 11pm right here on URTV okay I feel better now I always have to do that every time I'm in here. <laughs> and the Mad Scientist Tea Party. Uh, right now. Th- Thursdays and Fridays, we start at 4. And Fridays, uh-huh. we end at 6. And, and uh, Thursdays at, at 7. seven. Wow. Mm-hmm. So when did you get to going till 7 on Thursdays anyway? I mean, how did that it happen? It just happened one just time. just happened. And, and that's it. the way it goes now. Okay. It works for me. Okay. I have to put all this stuff up. And what used to be Mad Scientist Tea Party on Wednesdays is now Citizen Speak. And mm-hmm. Wednesdays, 4 to, what is it, 4 to 6, 4 to 6.30? Yeah. If you have any complaints about about anything that you ever hear on Citizen Speaks on Wednesday uh, at 4, th- at 4, 4.30? Is that what 4, I think. 4. 4. At 4. Yeah. Be sure and tune in. They have their, their telephone number uh, right up uh, on the screen. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and, and you can call them and complain. And Unlike here, at which point, if you have a complaint, uh, too keep bad. it to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of like keep your mouth shut. Okay? Yes. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but so, definitely, Wednesdays have taken on a completely different tone. But variety is good. We have some tea left. Did, did you, you know? know I have. I've been so busy talking to microphones. I haven't. I still have the remnants of my first cup of tea here. Believe it or not, I've been so busy talking. Well, I haven't drinking tea. Is there any in the big pot? If there's We've any got the, a considerable if amount. If there's of, any well, in the t- big pot, drink it. Is there? Here we go. A little bit. And, and Here then, we go. And then, uh, and then follow it by this. If you, is any? Yeah. And just. And ah! can, you see now? Yeah. I get very excited yeah. sometimes. Well, see the original, the original teapot of that style didn't have that problem with the. With the top, with the top would stay on, but that one doesn't. All right. Oh. 
-hmm. It's very strong tea. Is it, yeah, that's my smoke. Is it strong, badly strong? It's been it's, steeping it's strong. a while. I can, I can handle strong. It's, it's just a little it oversteeped, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, def it's definitely the go. end of the tea party, isn't it? Yes, it is. We're coming. Now's the time to say good night. Good night. Actually, we've got six more minutes. Happy trails to you. Until we meet again. It's very, you know, it. Happy trails. I'm just gonna look at the monitor and comment again on just how how darker how, in here. How? I know. How? I know. We're, we're here. We're, we're, we know. <laughs> it really does. Like the black background, black shirt I'm wearing, and everything. The black background makes it look a lot darker in here. Right. Almost like. Almost like it must be very yeah. cave like. Lean, in lean here. way in so you like get in the shit. So there you go. There we go. There you go. Yeah, so we, uh -huh. get, we get a good yeah. shot in there now. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's, here we are. That's right. uh, I get to wear the headphones. Mm hmm. It is oh. not as dark in here as it looks because, of course, we're brightly lit up because that light right there, which really kicks and isn't even turned up all the way. But it's. Just, I'm just. Uh, um can't get over like the, the visual difference there and what effect it has having the black background so it's too much in it hmm well it depends on what it is you're trying to go for uh i would say it's entirely too much dependent on what effect you want um yeah, i'm more used to the blue but i think the black can work i think um it's got potential and especially as i said on uh, what sort of impact you're trying to have um, here we go. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm considering it. I'm sort of uh, calculating ahead how it would look for various interviews because I plan on trying to do more interviews and more serious interviews as my live hour uh, continues. I'm going to try and slowly, steadily pull in guests and have, I don't know, things planned. Of course, what I'm trying to plan. Well, you've, you've already uh, progressed leaps and bounds from the first episode to this to this point. Don't yeah. you feel that it's well, I, just I I leaps do. and bounds? It, it, you've slid uh, slightly into the area of uh, Mount Dungeon because you have musical guests. Yeah. Which, um, are good, which, are, which have been good. Yeah, Busman's Holiday was good. Mm -hmm. um, Richard. Have they gone away now? Have they left town? Oh, yeah. They That's were just, they were passing through. That's a shame. They, they were coming through on tour. They're going to come through again. They really like Asheville. Okay. Well, you should um, have them back on again. Don't know. They're um, we're going to try and arrange it because they're staying in contact with JJ. Uh, they're going to try and arrange it so the next time they're coming through here, we'll put them on Mount Dungeon and they'll get a Mount Dungeon episode. All right. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, they know somebody who's associated, they're from Bloomington, Indiana, and they know somebody who's associated with public access TV there. Mm -hmm and who does their own show so what we're probably going to end up doing with busman's holiday is their guy is going to send a bunch of episodes of his show here and we're going to send him a bunch of episodes of mount dungeon so we're